hopefully you're all well. If someone can let me know that they can hear me. Um, sorry, I need to do the whole centering thing myself today. Um, yeah, I was sort of not going to get home, uh, but then there's a bushfire about 15 kilometres away from home, so I thought well, I'd rather come home and be close. Um, oh, sorry, something's just cropped up. Yep, so I thought I'll come home, so I'll madly run home and uh, just managed to get online a couple of minutes late, so I'm not proud of myself. Um, anyway, welcome along to, uh, sorry, I can hear my dog barking outside. Um, hopefully he'll be quiet in a minute. Um, so welcome along. Um, oh, excellent. Stephanie, lovely. Welcome. Um, obviously, I'm online as well. Um, so firstly, just grab a pen and paper. If, uh, for those of you who are new, uh, who haven't joined us before, yes, yeah, so if you can grab a pen and paper. Um, just so we can, um, you can jot down things that happen to you. Um, so what, so, oh good, everyone can hear me. Hopefully we won't freeze this week. Um, I do use a piece of software called Be Live, um, and uh, they've been having some issues with freezing. Um, oh, okay, yep. Yeah. And someone has just said, yeah, I'm a little blurry. So they're still going a bit dodgy. Um, yeah, so as long as you guys can see me and I'm not hopefully too blurry, um, we should be good. So, yes, yeah, grab a pen and paper. So jot down some things that come to you. Um, these sort of group things are great, uh, but you tend to probably tap on the symptoms rather than on your actual uh, what's beneath this, what's causing the symptoms. Um, so what I want you to do with the pen and paper is when something occurs to you, um, you know, as a feeling or what you think is underneath it, then jot that down and that's what I want you to tap on during the week um, while we're not here. Uh, if you have any issues crop up, certainly send me a message. So anyway, uh, I'm Denise. So my, my business is called DM Transformational Coach. I'm a certified life coach and an emotional freedom technique practitioner. Uh, I live in Tasmania. Um, but do sessions with anyone all over the world. Obviously, we just connect like this and um, away we go. I, what else do you want to know? Um, so I do uh, like a coaching session and we would use tapping in that as one of the techniques that we use to get through your blocks or uh, whatever it is that's worrying you. I really enjoy working with um, people trying to get them, um, you know, what's stopping them moving forward why why you know do they feel blocked uh, what's coming up for them love doing that also really enjoy working with pain uh, tapping works really well with pain um, because it's obviously you have emotional uh, issues when you have pain sorry my dogs are just deciding to bark at something really loudly so if you can hear them I apologize um, yeah so any emotional aspects you have which would be uh, obviously when you have pain you have emotional aspects and you feel stressed and work. so you reduce the stress from the pain um, and you often reduce some of the pain as well so yeah that's how emotional freedom technique works um, so then, anyway that's me we will do some tapping in a minute let me just point out oh, tonight we're looking on being kind to yourself we're all our own worst critic critic and we just want to I want you to have a think about how you talk to yourself and, um, you know, you are probably harder on yourself than you are on anyone else and certainly your friends, you know, you wouldn't, what you say to yourself, you wouldn't say it to other people. You wouldn't even think about it to other people, yet we think about it to ourselves. So tonight we're just going to have a look at, um, yep, so Donna, this sort of stuff, I, I totally hear you about separating. Uh, that's actually how I got into life coaching and tapping because I was really struggling after um, separation and divorce. Uh, you know, I still have my moments. I wouldn't say I'm totally uh, over the whole thing, but, I'm, you know, I'm pretty much there, really. So every now and then it crops up, but, yeah. So hopefully some of this today um, will help you just by being kind to yourself and helping you move on. Um, if it doesn't, yeah, certainly send me a message. We can do a couple of sessions. Um, yeah, let me know. Let me know how you go throughout the night. 
Okay, so these are the tapping points. For those of you that haven't done it before, what you do is you tap on some meridian points around uh, your face and your sort of collarbone. And uh, what we firstly do is we acknowledge the problem we have. Um, so just by acknowledging it is a way to help him reduce it, you know. So, um, so let me just push this up here. If I can get it to, well, there we go. Um, these are the tapping points. Uh, this is Dr. Peter Stapleton. She's an Australian psychologist. Uh, she's a clinical psychologist and a lot of her practice is studying uh, emotional freedom technique and actually looking at the clinical, so that like the medical response to it. So um, she's a great pioneer in um, our field. So I thought I'd use her. Anyway, okay, so basically you just need to follow along with me. Oh, Cheryl says morning. Where are you, Cheryl? Where, I mean, it's like for me it's, you know, evening or early evening. So, um, so you must be somewhere. Far more exciting than where I live, though where I live is kind of nice. Um, all right, so what we do is the, sorry, the karate chop point. So basically just follow along with me. Um, don't sort of stress too much about trying to find the exact right points. You're going to kind of hit them anyway because it's kind of where you um, intuitively will just go. Okay, so you're looking at your karate chop point. Let me move my glasses. You're looking at your eyebrow point, so this point here. So you just tap. Very gently, a couple of fingers. You can do right or left-handed. You can do both. Um, you know, some people do both sides at once. Um, I just use the one. Sometimes I'll swap sides, uh, so feel free to do that. Um, all right, so this is the eyebrow point here. This is the edge of the eye. And, again, it's kind of you tap where it just feels comfortable. So it's where my glasses would be. Um, I, if I was tapping without looking at you guys or not that I can see any of you but I would take my glasses off but because I'm trying to see the screen and my notes I need to leave my glasses on but you can it works fine uh, and then under your eye sort of like right in the middle so there and you're tapping fairly lightly you know it's not like you're not heavy you're not going to bruise yourself it's all just very gentle so under your nose so it's just this bit of your lips um, we call it the chin point, but it's really that sort of cleft, that bit between your lip and your chin, that sort of dip. So it's in there. Then your collarbone, and again, it's going to be the place, I don't know, I'm sorry, you've got my logo in the way. It's going to be the place that you automatically like to hit. Well, not hit, but spot, you know, tap. Um, so it's sort of around there on most people. And then we're going to, on the top of our head. There is a point under your arm where your sort of bra strap sits. I tend not to use that. I just find it sort of interrupts my flow a little bit and I just feel I'm reaching across sort of a bit of a chest. So it just doesn't work for me. Okay. All right. So here we go. Tonight we're going to, as I said, look at um, being kind to yourself, trying to be nicer to yourself, trying to um, not say those things to yourself or not even think those things to yourself that um, – we all do, you know, like we are our own worst critic as a rule. So we're going to try and change that round. Um, some of this stuff you need to work on sort of regularly, you know, like one tapping session might change some things for you, but, you know, it's very easy to fall back into the old habits of how you think about yourself. So I want you to sort of just be aware um, and we'll, we'll cover some of this as we get further along. Okay. So firstly, we're just going to get um, like – feel a bit centred and focused and like we're here and we're ready to roll. So just follow along and say what I say. So basically I'll say it and then you're repeating it. So I'll leave a little bit of a gap and then you repeat it after me. Okay. Even though I'm not really feeling present, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I'm not feeling present, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I don't really feel here, I deeply and completely accept myself. My brain is still going flat out. I'm not feeling centred. I'm not feeling balanced. So many thoughts. My brain's running fast. Too many thoughts. I don't feel centred. 
I don't feel balanced. I don't feel present. I don't feel centered. I don't feel balanced. I don't feel present. I don't feel centered. So many thoughts. So many thoughts running through my head. It's time to spend time on me. So many thoughts. Just not feeling centered. Not feeling present. Not feeling ready. So many thoughts. Okay, take a deep breath. Hopefully you're starting to feel like you're sort of a little bit relaxed. Um, again, hi to you ladies who've just popped on, Cheryl and Deb. Um, both of you said morning, so, yeah, like I said, you must be somewhere really exciting. Uh, and to Ruth, hi as well. Okay, so we will continue on. But I'm ready to focus. I'm here. I am present. I'm starting to feel centered. I'm starting to feel balanced. I'm starting to feel calmer. I'm here. I'm ready to work on myself. I'm ready to find time. This time is for me. I'm centered. I'm calm. I'm ready to focus. I'm ready to spend time with myself. Spend time on myself. I'm calm. I'm centered. I'm focused. I'm here. I'm ready to work on myself. I'm starting to feel quieter. Starting to feel more balanced. Starting to feel calm. I'm centered. I'm focused. I'm here. I'm centered. I'm focused. I'm ready. I'm ready to work on myself. I'm ready to listen. I'm ready to work on myself. I'm ready to hear my thoughts and learn to be kinder to myself. I'm ready to learn to be kinder. I'm ready to be kinder to myself. I'm focused. I'm ready. I'm calm. I'm focused. I'm ready. I am calm. Deep breaths. Again, my dog is barking. He's always not calm or centered or focused. Okay. So I want you to just have a little think about how you do talk to yourself. Um, so again, jot down anything that you'd like. Let me just remove that um, tapping points thing so you can it's not there the whole time. Now you've got where. There we go. I'm back. Um, all right. So I want you to think about how you talk to yourself. Do you um, talk badly to yourself? Do you are you perfectionist in every little thing you do wrong? You just like pounce on it and you tell yourself that you're useless, you can't do things. Um, you look fat, you look ugly, you look um, you're unorganized, you're messy. You know what? You're you're a bad parent. You're a bad um, you know you forgot to buy milk or bread on the way home. You know what? What is it that you say to yourself, um, is there a time that you talk badly to yourself more often than other times? Is it at work? Is it at home? Is it related to anything in particular? Is it a, um, 
you know, something to do with every time you're with the other mums at school or is it a time when you're, um, you know, at horse riding, what, whatever it is that, um, yeah, is there a time? So uh, if anyone wants to make comments, feel free. I'd love to have comments, love to get a bit of feedback on the way. Um, so I want you to, you know, uh, do you have high standards for yourself that are just about impossible to meet? Um, hi, Trees from New Zealand. Um, yeah, so where, um, you know, where are you basically in how you talk to yourself? I just want you to have a, yeah, so all of those, yeah, I know. And, you know, it's really easy to just, we just, do it and I don't you know I don't know I don't know if there's any men listening I don't know if men do it as much as women um really not sure um but we all tend to just be so much harder on ourselves than we are on anyone else like we would never expect anyone to um you know live up to the standards that we expect ourselves to yeah so what I want you to have a think about is if there is a specific time that you can remember that you've really given yourself the worst time ever um, jot it down uh, think about how stressed you feel or how sort of intense you feel about how badly you talk to yourself like while we've been thinking about it has it really you suddenly thought oh my god like I really do this this is awful um, so I want you to sort of think about it on a zero to ten. Zero is you're not at all fussed about how you talk to yourself you're totally fine about it um, so and then up to a 10 where you're totally like awful to yourself all the time um yeah see so it all comes down to stuff like lacking in confidence and so you know all these things we just often they're really interrelated so if you work through a lot of the um tapping circle ones we do you'll often find some of the same stuff comes up um so there is a you know it is it is lack of confidence and lack of um you know we don't recognize our own abilities so um yeah and and like tree says you know we do put uh, other people ahead of ourselves and we need to learn to um be kind to ourselves and you know i'm a really bad one yeah so cheryl's main at work um i'm a really bad one for doing stuff for other people and then forgetting to do stuff for myself like put myself last you know and and again that's probably a a female thing it's definitely a mum thing um you know it's a pet owner thing you know it's, we just are really bad at it um so we try you know so i want to try and just start to switch your mindset a little bit just so we can take little steps and be a little bit kinder a little bit more confident in ourselves um and just turn things around and just feel a bit happier with how we are okay so we will start again um, and so Cheryl, you feel like you're mainly at work. So while we're doing this, I want you to just think about the things you say or, you know, what, what comes up about work in particular. Um, so jot it down and that's what you need to work on during the week um, or send me a message or, yeah, whatever you need to do. Okay, here we go. Even though I'm not very kind to myself, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I'm not very kind to myself, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I'm not at all kind to myself, I deeply and completely accept myself. I talk to myself so badly. I'm not at all kind. I don't always like the way I talk to myself. I'm really tough on myself. I think I should be perfect. I really think I should be perfect. So I talk to myself badly. I talk to myself so badly. I don't cut myself any slack. I don't always like myself. I say horrible things to myself at work. I say horrible things to myself at home. I 
criticise myself all the time. I criticise myself all the time. I'm just not very nice to myself. I don't speak nicely to myself. I don't speak nicely to myself. When I'm at work, when I'm at home, even sometimes when I'm driving or when I'm by myself, I never say anything nice. I never say anything nice to myself. I'm not kind. I say awful things to myself. I say awful things to myself. I say I say awful things to myself. I say awful things to myself. I'm not kind. I'm pretty tough on myself. I'm really hard 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 on myself. Okay, a couple of deep breaths in. Just relax, feel the tension, hopefully leaving the body. Hopefully you're feeling, um, sorry, my dogs are really unhappy this afternoon. Um, hopefully you're feeling a little bit calmer, a little bit stressed. Um, if anything popped up in that about... Um, you know, particular times when you suddenly realise how you talk to yourself or when you jot them down on a bit of paper. Or if there's a specific event you suddenly remember where you just really hard tough on yourself um, and you just didn't need to be. Or why you're tough on yourself. Sometimes you just suddenly realise something's happened to you before, you know. Anyway, whatever's cropped up for you, jot it down. Uh, if anyone wants to share, Feel free. Always happy for people to share. Okay. Um, we will keep going and see where we end up. Hopefully we're all going to feel like we're all wonderful at the end. Um, okay. A couple of deep breaths. Feel how we're – see how you're going. And we'll see. Okay. Keep going. I hold myself to really high standards. I wouldn't expect other people to meet the same standard. But I keep thinking I should be perfect. I keep thinking I should be better than I am. I expect to do everything right. So I'm not always kind to myself. I'm not always kind to myself. I hold myself to ridiculously high standards. I wouldn't expect other people to be able to do that. But I feel like I should. I feel like I should be everything to everyone. That I should do everything right all the time. Get everything right first time. I'm not always kind to myself. I hold myself to high standards. I wouldn't expect other people to be like that. I would never talk to other people the way I talk to myself. I want to do everything right every time. I want to do everything for everyone and be everything for everyone. And when I can't do it, I'm really hard on myself. I talk badly to myself would never say those things to other people, but I say them to myself. I don't know why I do that. I don't support myself. I'm really hard on myself. I'm really hard on myself. I talk badly to myself. I want to be everything to everyone and get it right every time. I want to be perfect. I want to get things right. 
I get stressed when I don't. And I'm really hard on myself. I'm really hard on myself. I'm my own worst critic. I'm my own worst critic. I'm not kind to myself. I say horrible things to myself. I would never even think those about other people. But I say it to myself. Okay, everyone. Again, a couple of deep breaths. How are you all feeling? Uh, is someone who just typed something in? Because, like I said, we've had have had some issues with um, freezing on uh, Be Live, so I just want to make sure that I haven't frozen. Um, I'll just keep going regardless. Uh, like I said last week, I tried to download the recording, but it was ended up being absolutely huge, and it was just um, really difficult. So I decided in the end not to do it. So yes, if someone could just yeah say we're still going, that'd be great. Uh, and again, I want you to sort of think about. Um, oh, good, Karen, excellent, we're here. So I want you to now think about um, when you aren't kind to yourself. I know who was it that said at work? Cheryl said main at work um, is her thing. So anyone else? Is it when you know? Maybe like we said before, your physical appearance, over your skills. Um, you know, you feel like you haven't got enough skills. Um, what What is it that is, uh, when do you talk the worst to yourself? Is it, um, yeah, I think we all sound like these trees. It's, yeah, it's awful, isn't it? Like, you know, um, I'm I'm pretty tough on myself and I'm just, you know, it's a work in progress. So this, this session, um, oh, good, we're still working. Thanks, Shelley. So this session you won't clear, um, you know, tomorrow you're not going to wake up and be the kindest you, to yourself all the time. You know, it is a work in progress. So this is just the start and it's a skill that I want you to use um, when you notice because that's half the battle now is just noticing the, when you're talking badly to yourself. You go, aha, don't do that. And if you're feeling really stressed, just, you know, tap, tap through it, you know, saying I'm talking badly to myself. I'm talking badly to myself. That should sort of hopefully. Okay. Anyway, we will keep going through um, and just kind of just throwing things out there. Um, hopefully something will resonate. Uh, I'm just going to throw lots of kind of different scenarios, I guess, out there. Hopefully something will resonate with you. If it does, jot it down on your bit of paper because that's, I don't like to say homework, but that's kind of homework. <laughs> Um, okay, I tell myself I can't do things. Audrey, you're always doing the house before for yourself. Yeah, me too. And I'm not a tidy person, so this is like um, a, a, for me it's a it's an avoidance thing usually. Um, housework, I hate it. But, yeah, I'll sometimes do it just to avoid something else. Anyway, okay, I tell myself I can't do things. I tell myself I'm ugly. I tell myself I look bad. I tell myself I'm useless. I tell myself I can't get things right. I'm really hard on myself. I'm really hard on myself. I tell myself I can't do things, that I'm useless, that I'm ugly, that I'm not good enough. I'm really hard on myself. I'm really unkind. I'm really unkind. I tell myself I'm not good enough. I tell myself I'm useless. I tell myself I don't know why other people would like me because I don't even like me. I don't feel good enough. I feel useless. 
I feel unattractive. Why would anyone like me? I don't even like myself. So I'm not kind to myself. I'm not nice to myself. I'm really hard on myself. I say awful things. I say awful things. I say awful things to myself. I tell myself I can't do things. I tell myself I'm useless. I tell myself I'm not good enough. I tell myself I don't have enough skills. That I just can't do it. Sometimes I try, and if it goes wrong, I'm really hard on myself. I'm really hard on myself. I'm really hard on myself. I tell myself I can't do things, that I'm not good enough, that I'm useless. I tell myself I'm not good enough. Okay, a couple of deep breaths. How's that feeling? Are we all feeling a little bit lighter? Did I hit on any points on that? Um, interesting enough, my notes, um, I usually do up like a bit of a script beforehand and follow it kind of mostly and then whatever pops into my head, I'll um, just put out there. So I had not good enough, which is not in my script. So that would say to me that I have these feelings of not good enough at times. So, um, again, like I said, you know, whatever's popped up for you, that's what you need to work on because that's the starting point. Um, and like I said, you know, we, they're the symptoms and we want to try and get it to delve to what causes those symptoms. So um, it may be, you know, a particular time you remember in your childhood when you weren't good enough or a time when someone laughed at you, uh, or a time that just went wrong and you just feel awful about it. So that's what I want you to tap on, those those memories. And uh, when I mean that, I want you to tap on, uh, I remember when I was at school. I remember people laughed at me. I remember standing there and everyone was looking at me, you know, that, that sort of thing. So um, that that's kind of your homework. So I'm into homework this week. I'm going to be a tough taskmaster. Homework, homework, homework. Um, because that's how we clear this stuff. Anyway, there's a couple of things I want you to have a look at. Uh, let me know someone if they're feeling lighter or they're feeling worse. Hopefully not feeling worse. Um, but if you are, something, it means something's cropped up, uh, which is actually a good thing because it means it's coming to the forefront and that you can work on it. Um, you're not trying to hide it in the back of your brain. So, you know, never feel bad if you're feeling worse about this stuff. It just means different stuff's coming up. And that, that like I said, that's a good thing. It means you're ready to work on it and ready to work on yourself. Okay. So what I wanted to say was, um, you know, we say these things about ourselves or to ourselves that we would never, ever, ever say to any of our friends or anyone we work with, and we would never even half the time even think it. Yet we think about this about ourselves, you know, and that's just, you know, awful. Really, it's quite sad if we, if you sort of think about it. Um, so why do you say it to yourself? Like why why do you think you talk to yourself so badly? You know, and this is when um, I want to try and just kind of have a bit of a think. Um, if you're feeling really stressed, um, something is coming up for you and it's feeling quite stressful, I want you to just keep tapping. Just tap here or wherever's comfortable. I like this one. But it's a bit more weird when you're talking. So here's a really good one. So just tap here. So I may just keep doing this. If you don't want to, that's fine. I'm just sort of reminding everyone. Okay, so uh, like I said, was it a time when you're at school and or a specific event where something just went wrong and no matter what you did or how hard you tried it just did not go right and after that you've constantly you know in a similar situation have put yourself down um was there um so 
while you're doing, while you're thinking about that, I want you to think about if it was another person, if it was your friend or your kids um, or your family, if it was someone else thinking the same way, what would you tell them? I'm sure you wouldn't say, oh, you're absolutely useless, you're stupid, you can't do that, you're hopeless. You know, you would never say that to someone. You would, you would kind of hopefully reassure, I'm sorry things didn't go well, you tried really hard, I'm really proud of you, you know, those things, which, which are true. You know, so we need to, need to start cutting yourself some slack and you need to kind of reassure yourself that you did the best you could, that um, things sometimes don't go right. Whether, whether you know, no matter what we want, it's not necessarily going to turn out. Life isn't always, you know, the, the fairy tale. So, you know, I don't want you to be pessimistic, but I want you to sort of go, okay. So when it doesn't go well, it's okay. It's okay for for it not to go well. But what I want to remember is that I tried hard. And find a positive in that. Does that make sense? Um, so I want you to stop and think about if you were, you know, a time where you are talking to yourself and saying you're hopeless, you're useless, you're not good enough, you know, whatever it is that's propping up. I want you to stop and go, hey, hang on. If this was my best friend Mary, what would I tell Mary at this point? And I want you to tell yourself that. I mean, you can either write it down. Um, you can say it out loud, say it to yourself. But I want you to, like, and that's the trick here is trying to stop yourself and go, whoa, talking bad, let's stop it. What am I going to say to myself? If it was someone else, what would I say? Okay, secondly, um, I want you to remember that people rarely get things right the first time. If they do, that's absolutely fantastic. Um, and brilliant and you know sometimes things just do go right the first time the first time we try something it just works but sometimes it just doesn't you know no matter how much we prepare how much we try it's and that's when you need to cut yourself some slack so that's what I'm talking about um, if you don't actually keep trying and you give up and you walk away that's kind of where you get a bit lost uh, I think what we need to I did read something the other day about as adults we um, are really hard on ourselves because we don't get things first up so and we don't get it right and it's important to get it right so somewhere along the line we've got this thing about we have to be have to get it right have to get it perfect have to get it um, done exactly the right way we have to be everything to everyone uh, whenever they need it so but just have a think about, you know, when when you're a baby or when you're a child and learning to uh, even smile. You know, I'm sure babies, they don't smile the second they're born. It takes, like, time for the muscles to work and it takes time for them to, to learn that skill. And, again, it's the same with sitting up. You know, they practice and practice and practice and then one day they can sit up. And But it's not a, cool, I'm going to sit up today, and they just literally sit up. It's the same with crawling. You know, they're on their stomach, they're trying, they're pushing, they're going backwards, um, you know, going every which way but the way they want to go. And, again, same with walking. You know, they're, they're trying to, um, we all try to learn to walk. We don't just go, right, I'm going to walk and get up. You know, it's a case of we go from crawling to standing. We go from standing to, um, you know, holding on to things as we walk around. We go, you know, do you know what I'm saying? Like it's these things are, are works in progress. And as adults we forget that we've got to learn and practice skills to get to what we want to do. So that, yeah, you know, failure is okay. It's okay to not get things right and it's okay to, um, practice and learn and develop and you grow. So we kind of want everything right now and right this second. So but what I'm trying to tell you is it's a work in progress and feel proud and be nice to yourself because you're on the path. So, yeah, one of my favourite quotes, and it's kind of corny, is 
life is about the journey, not the destination, because obviously the destination of life is death. So, you know, we, we know we don't all want to get there right now, but it's what happens on the way that makes our life fulfilling and uh, nice and rewarding and all those things. So what you need to do is um, think about the when things go right and be proud of yourself and reinforce the, but I'm learning, I'm trying, you know, that stuff, not I can't do it, I'm useless, I'm hopeless. So you kind of need to start to switch the brain around. Some people just naturally are that way and some people naturally aren't. Um, I'm sure you probably don't, you hopefully won't believe me, but I'm actually quite a pessimist and I actually am quite hard on myself. So this stuff is really good for me. Um, if you look at most of the tapping stuff we do, you'll work out my psyche really fast because that tends to be what crops up for me in the week is what we work on. So there you go. So um, not being kind to yourself, obviously it's been a week of that for me. Um, but I'm getting much better now at going, hang on, why are you saying that? Like find something good. So, okay, we'll have a bit of a tap and then we'll get back into some other stuff. Sorry, I'm running late. Um, okay. I am really hard on myself, but I think I'll start to change. Not sure I can, but I think I'm going to try. I'm going to remember that it's little steps, that I'm still learning, and that's okay. I'm going to try. All I need to do is try. I'm going to try and change. I'm going to try and change my mindset. I'm going to try and pull myself up when I say bad things to myself. And I'm going to try and remember a good thing. A good thing about the situation and how I am trying. How I am trying. I'm going to try to change and be nicer to myself. And remember, it's okay to keep learning. It's okay to keep trying. 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 Okay. So I'm doing a lot more talking than tapping this week. Um, again, hopefully things are turning around and your brain's just ticking away here. Um, what I want you to think about is um, when you're talking badly to yourself and you've realised you're doing it, because that's our first thing we're going to do, is we're going to notice. And I want you to think about, uh, and I want you to do this daily if you can, maybe even twice daily. Um, I want you to think about three things you like about yourself. Feel free to share these now. Um, type away. Um, it could be really simple and easy for you and other people it's going to be really hard. This can be anything. This does not have to be super big stuff. You know, it can be um, I've got nice eyes, I like my eyebrows, I uh, always wake up up before my alarm goes off it's three things you like about yourself so you know like I said they don't have to be bigger than Ben Hur things they've just got to be three things um are you good at just keeping on keeping on are you good at paying your bills on time are you good at gardening are you good at reading are you good at remembering to buy milk and bread on the way home um are you good at brushing your teeth are you good at driving um, so like I said, they don't need to be big things here. They just need to be three things. Okay? So anyone wants to share one thing, even if you can't find three, find one. I want you to find one. Um, things I like about myself. Now I'm going to have to think, and I do this fairly regularly. Um, I'm good at organising people. And you're not allowed to have a but. So you're not allowed to say, I'm good at organising, but I'm bad at filling in forms you know, like whatever it is, okay? So I'm good at um, 
organising thing. I can organise people to be anywhere, anytime, pretty much. So that's kind of a bit of a but at the end. But I'm actually pretty good at organising things. I um, kind of like my eye colour. I don't know if you can see it. Kind of like that. And I am a reasonable driver. So there you go. Three things. And I'm a good horse owner. I've got eight horses. They all love me. So there you go. That's four things for me. So anyone wants to share um, something they like about themselves. So um, while we're doing that, I we will just keep going through and see what pops up. I realise there are good things about me. I just need practice looking for them. That might take time. But it'll help me be kinder to myself. It'll help me be kinder to myself. I just need to practice looking for the good things because there are good things about me. There are some good things about me. And I'm going to keep an eye out for them. I'm going to notice them. I'm going to notice the good things. It'll just take practice. To start with, I'll just find one. Oh, I don't know if any of you heard that's really windy at my house. It's just blown over. I'm going to practice looking for good things. Might take time, but that's okay. It's a learning process. It's a learning process. And I'll be kinder to myself. And it'll help me be kinder to myself. It'll help me be kinder to myself. It'll help me be kinder to myself. I realise there are good things. There are good things about me. There are good things about me. Just have to practice looking and telling myself. I need to tell myself there's good things. I need to practice looking for them. I need to tell myself there's good things. It's just practice and it'll help me be kinder to myself. It'll help me realise that I'm good. It doesn't matter how long it takes. I'm going to be kinder to myself. I'm going to be kinder to myself. There are good things about me. I will keep looking. I will keep learning. I'll keep learning about the good things. It might take time, but I can do it. Okay, check in. A couple of deep breaths again. Okay, hopefully um, everyone's kind of suddenly thinking, yeah, there are good things about me. There are some nice things I like about me. I'm good at remembering to put dog food out. Um, I am good at um, keeping a clean car. And if you are, good on you. I cannot keep a clean car. I don't know if you guys saw my post the other week about being tough on yourself. It was being tough on yourself. And I took a photo of my car just so everyone would feel better and, and realise that some you don't be good at everything, you know. I'm not good at having a clean car. Um, but I'm okay about that because I've got nice blue eyes, you know. <laughs> anyway, how is everyone, if anyone wants to make a comment, um, Trees or Cynthia, if you're still there, um, partly because I'm a little bit paranoid about how it's working and if I'm blurry or anything like that because, um, like I said, there's been some software issues. Um, so. Okay, just um, as your day goes on, like I said before, uh, it's like learning to walk. It's like learning to swim. It's, a, it's kind of like an older sort of, you know, no one jumps in a pool and can swim. You know, we've all, everyone has to learn to swim. It's not a, so it's like this. You just have to learn It's to be kinder to yourself. Easy, easy. So just recognising when you're in that cycle of putting yourself down and talking badly to yourself, 
I went, that's the first step is to find, to recognise when you're doing it, to go, uh-huh, I'm not going to do that anymore. And straight away I want you to think of a good thing. And I don't care if it's the same good thing you think up every single day. It can be like, I've got nice blue eyes, I've got nice blue eyes, I've got nice blue eyes. Don't care. Just find ideally a couple of things, but, you know, one thing is fine. Okay. So, you know, and again, my big theme with just about everything is forward is forward. Small steps are totally fine. Forward is forward. Okay. I do have good things about me. I might not be perfect, but that's okay. Who is? There are good things about me. There are good things about me. I'm going to start to notice when I say bad things. I'm going to start to notice when I say bad things. I'm going to start to notice. I'm going to start to notice. I'm going to start to notice the bad things and turn it around and find a good thing. Because there are good things about me. There are good things about me. I'm going to start talking to myself how I talk to others. I'm going to talk to myself how I talk to others. I'm going to support myself how I would support others. I'm going to support myself how I would support others. I realise this is a work in progress. And I think I can be kinder to myself. I think I can be nicer. Learn to see the good things in myself. Learn to recognise them. Learn to recognise when I say bad things. And find a good thing. I'm going to say nice things about myself. I'm going to find good things about myself. I'm going to talk to myself how I would talk to other people. I'm going to start to support myself. I'm going to start to support myself. I'm going to be my own champion. 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 I am good enough. I am good enough. I will be kinder to myself. And it's a work in progress. Forward is forward. Won't happen overnight, but it will happen. Forward is forward. Small steps. Small steps are fine because I'm learning to be nice to myself. I'm learning. And I can do it. I'm learning. I can do it. Okay, hopefully you're all feeling a bit better. Uh, again, if someone can type something in, or maybe I should type something else in myself to see if it's popping up. Hopefully that's going to crop up because it, if it doesn't, it means I'm frozen again. Um, anyway, yes, that's a problem. It's not coming up at all. So hopefully you guys can still hear me. Um, we'll plug away at the good stuff. I am amazing. I can do it. I'm amazing. I'm amazing. I'm amazing. I'm amazing. I can do it. I can support myself and be my own champion. I'm amazing. I'm strong. I'm moving forward. I'm learning to like me more. I'm learning to like me more. And learning's good. Learning is good. I can do it. I can do it. Forward is forward. Forward is forward. Forward is forward. Okay. 
I have a feeling I have frozen because I've even typed something in there myself and it hasn't cropped up. So uh, if you guys can still hear me, um, let me know how you're going. Uh, if anything really awful has cropped up for you, send me a message. Uh, my Facebook page is DM Transformational Coach. Love you to pop online. Um, sort of don't post huge amounts, but try to just sort of post some little snippety things, uh, some of the stuff that's related here. I do run private sessions one-on-one. -on -one. Um, more than happy to work something out with you. Um, so your homework this week is, if you can hear this, is to um, work on those things that came up and tap on those and start to um, find a positive. So, you know, I want you to start to recognise when you're bad, when you talk poorly to yourself and, um, and remember that you want to support yourself and that you can support yourself and be kinder to yourself. All right, so I'm going to sign off a couple of minutes early because, like I said, I think I'm frozen anyway. Um, so now I can hear Night all. I'll see you next week. Uh, anyone with a topic they would love to share or work on? Um, oh, Cheryl's come back. She said she's had to go. So I'm hoping that my message I noticed still didn't come up. Um, I might just type something again. I'll put home work. Anyway, night all, much love, see you next week, ciao.